Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a weekly reading for the water signs that is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. These messages will be for April 11th through the 17th. They are general. They will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into your reading and I'm going to pull an overall message. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the water signs? Okay, I have appreciation. Some of you may be honored this week. You may be receiving some type of recognition. For others of you, Spirit says self. You may be doing some self-love this week, pampering yourself, doing some self-care. So let's pull some more messages. I have the Three of Swords in the reverse. I have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so I have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Okay, water signs. For this week, there is someone who hurt you. I heard betrayal, yes. You suffered a betrayal in the past when it came to a connection. And I feel that Spirit says healed. You have healed from this past connection. But I feel that with this Eight of Cups in the reverse, this person wants to come back. With this Ten of Swords in the reverse, like they want to mend. They want to mend this relationship. They want to come back. But I don't see you allowing this person back into your energy with this Queen of Swords. You're going to turn this person down. Because with this Five of Cups energy, they're finally starting to realize what they have done. The mistake that they have made by hurting you. By walking away from this connection. By being involved in a third party or multiple third party situations so it's like when i'm just looking at this queen of swords and this five of cups it's like when you turn them down they are going to sulk they are going to be very disappointed because it's like now they realize who you are water signs it's like now they see your value and they're realizing that they missed out on an opportunity with you For others of you, with this Three of Cups, you're going to be celebrating this week. Spirit says you're going to be celebrated this week. Yes, you're going to be celebrating you along with others. They're going to be celebrating you as well, water signs. Yes, recognition. Get ready for recognition this week, water, water signs. You are going to be recognized at your job this week. Yes, people are going to be celebrating you. I heard years for some of you, you may have um, spent 
a lot of years with the company and your anniversary is coming up and they're getting ready to celebrate all of your accomplishments this week. I heard deal for others of you, for others of you you may have closed a big deal. And you're getting ready to celebrate with colleagues. But yes, there's going to definitely be some celebration taking place for some of you. But for others, there's someone that is going to be coming back after they have hurt you. They have wounded your heart. And they want you to take them back because now they realize the grass is not greener. They understand that they made a mistake, but it's like you are not having it. It's like now they see your worth, but it's too late. You're not having it. You have moved on. You are no longer emotionally attached to this person. You moved on with your life. And you are not allowing this person back in. So let's get some more love messages. And see what else comes out. I have the King of Cups. I have Judgment in the Reverse. And I have the Eight of Wands in the Reverse. For those of you who are thinking about leaving a relationship, this person is going to try to stop you from leaving. They don't want you to walk away. They're going to try to stop you from leaving. With this judgment in the reverse. There's someone who's not getting what they want. When it comes to a connection. I heard commitment. You want this person to commit to you. But they're not doing it. You're not getting what you want. Out of this relationship. Spirit says worth. It's time for you to know your worth. If this person can't give you what you want, then you need to make an executive decision to put yourself first and do what's best for you. And sometimes that is ending the relationship. And just going back to this eight of wands, some of you are going to be walking away because this person isn't giving you the commitment that you want, but they're going to try to stop you. I heard surprise proposal. This person may try to propose to you to get you to stay, but it's like, do you really want that proposal? Because it's not genuine, but the option is up to you. Water signs. The choice is yours with this King of Cups. I heard stable. Some of you are going to be meeting someone who's very stable. You're going to be older than you. This person is very mature, very wise, loving. I heard money. This person is very financially secure. Yes. I heard perfect match. Yes, you and this person are going to be the perfect match it's like you are both um in the same energy you both want the same thing when it comes to a relationship you're both willing to invest so let's clarify these messages spirit clarify the king of cups I'm also looking at this three of cups and this week some of you may be going out with friends I her birthday so you may be celebrating um a friend's birthday this week yeah just really going out having a good time and just going back to pampering some of you may um have like a girl's day out pampering yourself getting your hair your nails done I have the seven of wands. This person knows what they want. You're not going to have to question this person. You're not going to have to question how they feel. They're going to be very open about how they feel. Like they know what they want and they're not afraid to go after it. 
Let's get a message for judgment in the reverse. I have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. For some of you, Spirit is saying like the passion in your relationship has fizzled. I heard attractive. You may no longer find this person attractive or this person no longer finds you attractive. But the passion... Um, has fizzled at her weight. So for some of you, you may not find this person attractive because they have gained weight at her pregnancy. So um, you or this person that you're connected to may have put on weight after a pregnancy and you're not as intimate as you once were. I heard exercise. So you're trying to get this person to exercise or maybe this is something that um, you're thinking about doing yourself in order to get in shape because it's like you're recognizing that this person is not as drawn to you as they once were. For others of you, This person, this per I heard player ways. Someone is thinking about giving up their player ways or has given up their player ways, but it's too late. Going back to the first message, it's too late. It's too late for them. They waited too long to change. They waited too long to want to invest into this relationship to want to give to you. I have the sun in the reverse. Yeah, some of you, you're not getting what you want out of a relationship and you want to leave, but this person um, blocks you from leaving. I heard children, for some of you, this person may use the children to get you to stay into this connect, to get you to stay. And this connection. Yes, but they try to stop you. It's like every time you try to leave, they use a tactic to get you to stay. But you're not happy. This person doesn't give you what you want. It's like you may have moments of bliss here and there. But overall, you're not completely fulfilled in this relationship. But I'm also getting some of you are scared to walk away as well. I, because of the children i heard married some of you are married to this person and i heard finances you're scared to leave because of the finances you feel like your finances will be negatively impacted your stability will be negatively affected but you're not happy you're not happy where you are So let's pull some final messages. I heard decision. So I feel like for some of you this week, you're going to be making a decision about what to do with this relationship. Like, are you going to stay and be miserable and be unfulfilled, not getting what you want? Or are you finally going to walk away and not let this person stop you? Yes, yeah, like the choice is going to be yours. Because you know that you're not fulfilled. You're not getting what you need out of this connection. But Spirit says decision. Like this week is going to be about you making a decision. Like this week is going to be the week for you to make that final choice as to what you're going to do. Um, are you going to stay in the relationship? It's like if you're going to stay then don't complain because you're choosing to stay but you know if you're going to walk away then do so and move on completely 
I heard back and forth for some of you. This is a relationship where you do go back and forth with this person in and out type of energy. And it's like, what are you going to do? You're not getting what you want. So are you going to leave or are you going to continue to be back and forth with this person? You have to make a choice this week. Because if not, you're going to continue to repeat this cycle. A never-ending cycle. It's like I'm looking at this judgment and spirit is like you're not going to get what you want out of this relationship. Because this person isn't meant to be in your life. You're not meant to be with this person. So you're never going to get what you want. So you're just holding on to something that is never going to produce the results that you're seeking. And then King of Cups, Spirit says, I have better for you. I have something be better for you. <clears throat> I have something better for you, but in order for you to get it, you have to walk away from this relationship. You have to release this toxic person. For some of you, this is about you releasing the past, healing and moving forward. In order to get to this new beginning, in order to get your King of Cups. So it's like you have some work to do. So whether this is you physically walking away from a connection or this is about you releasing a past person out of your energy. But spirit does have something better for you. Someone who is going to be stable, who's going to be able to give you what you want, but you just have to be open to receiving it. And it's like the choice is yours. What are you going to do? For some of you, I'm, I'm getting that when you meet this new person, the old person is going to try to come back. So it's like you're going to have the new person and then you're going to have the old person coming back at the same time. So you're going to have a choice to make. I have Dove take a leap of faith. Yes. Take a leap of faith for those of you who do not know what to do when it comes to staying or leaving. Spirit says it's time for you to take that leap. It's time for you to walk off that cliff and not literally, but it's time for you to embark on a new adventure. Choose a different path. Try something new instead of doing the same thing over and over and getting the same results you have to be open to change so i hope that these messages resonate remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself grow with me as i grow with you everyone stay blessed